Hey guys, what's up? I'm TML, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about phones. Now before I get started, I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone that subscribed. It really helps me out a lot, and uh, if you've not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It only takes two seconds, and then you get to see more content like this. So, without further ado, let's get started with today's video. So um, for none of you, none of you guys that know me, um, some of you might, some of you may not. But um, basically, I had an iPhone. Now the iPhone lasted me a long time. It was brilliant. I used it on a day-to-day -day basis, and it was fine. Um, but then a couple of months ago, or should I say, um, around September time last year, the phone just conked out. Like the battery didn't charge. My dad keeps blaming me, even though it wasn't me. But the battery just kept going and going, and it just didn't charge. So then I took it to Apple um, in the Manchester store and uh, they said it was actually a product uh, fault with the product itself. So then they swapped the battery, put a fresh battery in and still it didn't work. So then I was basically phoneless for a good month and then it was getting to the point where I really needed a phone. Not just for Facebook or, or Instagram or anything like that but really just to call people because I was getting to the situations where I needed a phone. So then my dad was like, right, we'll just go into Carphone Warehouse and pick a really cheap phone and uh, we'll just use that for now. So um, I agreed, thinking, well, the cheapest phone's going to be about, what, 30 quid? And it'll be one of those Nokia ones with the little key th keys, um, no touchscreen or anything. To my luck, though, um, they, was, they ran out of stock of those. So um, the next one they had was uh, this phone right here, which is the Microsoft Lumia 435. And uh, in this video, I'm just going to be telling you guys what I think of it. Um, it cost about £50, £49.99 to be exact. But um, I'm just going to be telling you guys what it was like using it, um, how it's been as a replacement. I know it's a cheap phone. I know it's nothing compared to the iPhone's price range. So obviously, I'm not going to have as good specs. But for 50 quid, what do I think about it? So let's get started. Firstly, I just want to say my phone goes through a lot. Okay, so the phone that I've been using as a standing product for my iPhone has been uh, the Lumia 435. Now, um, if, if any of you guys are looking for a new phone, or even if it's a replacement phone, I highly, highly, highly do not recommend this as your first, or even a replacement phone, because it's not quite up to the par as many other phones right now on the market. Um, um, however, this one, I've had a lot of difficulties with it, and... Um, it's not that powerful um, and obviously from the pictures you might be like it looks like a nice phone I mean what could be what possibly could be wrong with it and what I've got to say to that is guys don't always look at the pictures because in the product pictures they're meant to look a lot more they're meant to look a lot better they're meant to look more um, engaging for you guys just a, li a little bit more better so you'd buy them and um, hopefully make them a lot of money However, they're not always as they seem. Um, so one advice I could give to you guys is, whenever you're buying a phone, make sure you go into the store and have a little play about with it. Make sure it is what you think it is and not something that you don't want to end up being with for the next two years of your contract. Now, um, this phone isn't at all a powerhouse or anything like that. Um, it has one gig of RAM with eight gig of uh, internal storage. Now, I know what a couple of you might be thinking, wow, that's not even a lot. The storage however it does come with a micro SD slot so you can upgrade it to a 32 gig or whatever you want um, also the screen size is 4 inch now I believe this is the same as the iPhone 5 however don't get me wrong this is nowhere near the quality or um, resolution as the iPhone screen because it is a WVGA and uh, it's also got a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor and it's also got Qualcomm Snapdragon Okay, so uh, the phone that I've got um, is well protected, just like all my other tech. Um, as you can tell, it's got a nice rubberized case um, with a stand. So if you don't want to use your hands or you want to watch something, there's also that neat little feature. Um, I've never used this personally, but I can see where it'll come in handy. Um, and on the front, I've got a tempered glass screen protector. Um, this is really great. I mean, if it's scratch resistant, I think it's oldie phobic as well. So it's uh, risk resistant against oils and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I'm just going to take it out of the case um, real quick just to show you what the actual um, thinness of the phone is. Because 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I broke the case. The case that just broke off. That's probably why it was so cheap. But um, as you can tell, um, the Microsoft phone has lost a lot of bulk. That's probably due to the case. It's, it is pretty thin, but it's not as thin as most modern day smartphones that are available today. And on the back, you can just see the simple branding with the camera and the speaker outlet. Okay, so one area where I think my Microsoft phone has lacked um, compared to an iPhone or an Android phone has been the App Store. Now, um, for anyone that has an iPhone or an Android phone, you'll realize that the app stores are almost identical. They'll have the pretty much the same apps that they do, um, and they have thousands of apps, and they are growing every single day. Now, with the Microsoft Store, it's not that great. Um, I'll give you an example. So, the Microsoft Store doesn't have certain apps like uh, Snapchat, whereas I think on Android and, and, and on the Apple Store, they both have them. Um, and I know that's not a big deal, like, what's the Snapchat going to do with anything? But I'm just mentioning little things like little apps that you might not know you're using. They could be quite popular, but you might not get on the Microsoft phone. Now, secondly, on the, the Microsoft phone, I didn't really like the reliability aspect of the phone. So um, I'll give you an example of this. So I was charging my phone and um, it's got a micro USB um, charging port. Now, um, I charge it every day uh, pretty much because it has to get charged or else it'll go flat. Um, battery life is all right. I would say it's about three, three, two, two hours, two, three hours. And um, if I'm using it intensely, and um, I've been charging it from day one, and it's been all right. Recently, however, this is when you can tell it's a low, low quality product. The charging hasn't really been as good as good as it used to. Now, I'll give you an example of this. So when I plug it into charge, it doesn't charge as quick, or it doesn't charge at all. Up in the morning, I put it into charge, and it didn't charge. So I was basically stuck there with a phone that had no charge. This has happened to me twice now, and it's getting quite annoying. All in all, um, I have been using this phone for about seven months now, seven, eight months. And um, I'll be honest with you, compared to an iPhone, it's nowhere near. I would highly suggest paying that extra 200, 300 pounds to get a quality product. It'll last longer, it'll cause you less troubles in the future, and um, pretty much you'll be a better quality product. Now. Um, there, there is a lot of cons to getting this Microsoft, but if you really think about it, it's 50 quid. It's not going to run down and run you down a lot of money. It's a phone. It works. You can still call people. You can still text, and it's got some smartphone features um, like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which I wasn't really expecting for a 50 pound phone. But all in all, it it does what a phone's meant to do: call and text, um, and on the occasion, download or watch something. Um, but apart from that, I wouldn't really use it for much else. But um, I just, I would just want to say this has been a decent phone. It's lasted me. Right now, I'm getting a lot of problems with it, so that's pretty much why I'm a bit skeptical, skeptical, skeptical right now about whether I should get an iPhone, which I am going to be doing as soon as I have enough money. So that guys pretty much brings this video to a close. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And if you've not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because that mean that you guys don't miss out on any great content that's coming up. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. TML out.